is. Okay. The last video we're going to talk about today is covalent bonding and the shapes that they make. All right, you're going to hear this word Vesper and the Vesper model. All right, the Vesper, uh, it stands for valent shell electron pair repulsion. And what does that mean? Vesper means that electrons want to spread out and be as far away from each other as they can. So because they're light charges, they're going to repel if they're close to each other. So they want to spread out. Electrons want as much space as they can get. All right, and so these shapes are the shapes that they make when they're single bonds in that family. So we're going to start off with a shape called linear. Linear shape is 180 degrees away from each other, and you're going to have like a fluorine bond into a fluorine, and it's just 180 degrees, so it's just straight, right? And then um, like a, a hydrogen bonded to a hydrogen is also linear, right? So remember, it's a nonpolar if it's bonded the same to the same nonmetal, right? So if I change this hydrogen and made it a fluorine, now that is a polar bond because it's two different nonmetals, but it's still linear shape, right? Now, it's also important to understand that all double and triple bonds are linear. All, all double and triple bonds are linear. And if it's the same um, nonmetal double bonded, it's nonpolar. If it's something different, then it's polar. So if I had a, a, you know, a nitrogen bonded to a phosphorus, that is polar. This is nonpolar because it's oxygen bonded to itself. All right, now the bent molecule is the second shape. And a bent molecule is 104.5 degrees. That's why it looks silly like that. It's not, it's not bonded like this. That would be linear. It's not. Because of these lone pairs of electrons, they push those hydrogens down. They want to get as far away from each other as they can. So these, this interaction from these lone pairs of electrons pushes the bond down to make it 104 degrees, and that is a water molecule that we see all the time in life, and that is called a bent shape, right? And a bent molecule is always polar, always polar, all right? And because of the lone pairs. A trigonal pyramidal is the nitrogen family with all single bonds. So when you have nitrogen family with all single bonds, okay, you're gonna have one lone pair of electrons here, and that lone pair is going to push everything down and make it 107.3 degrees away. And that is also always a polar bond because of the, the interaction with the lone pair. Now, a tetrahedral is our next shape. And that is with the carbon family with all single bonds. Now, this one's kind of tricky because it can be nonpolar if it's all the same thing pulling on it. But if you change one thing, and put a fluorine out here, now all of a sudden that becomes a polar interaction. So if all four things are the same, it's nonpolar. If one of those things is different, it becomes polar. So that's how the uh, tetrahedral works. And the trigonal pure, or planar is 120 degrees. It kind of looks like a Mercedes sign. It's as far away from each other as it can get, all right? And that is um, also going to be polar because um, of the interaction you know, the unequal pull, because it's, it's being pulled in, in three different directions. If it was pulled in four different directions, it would have, it could have equal, but it's not. So it's important to understand the different um, shapes in the Vesper model and, uh, and the families that go with it. So in review, boron's family, trigonal planar, carbon's family, all single bonds is going to be tetrahedral. Now remember, these can make triple bonds, but if it makes a triple bond, it's linear, okay? Tetra, or trigonal pyramidal is going to be nitrogen's family, all single bonds. Okay, looks like that, always polar. Bent molecule is oxygen's family, all single bonds, always polar. Linear is going to be 180 degrees. The polarity depends on what's bonded. If it's two of the same things, nonpolar. If it's two different things, polar. And then all double and triple bonds are linear also. If it's two of the same things, nonpolar. If it's two different things, polar. All right.